Maya, host and general Scotch drinker, Salty Gentleman. Tonight I'm going to be continuing my quest into the outer worlds of uh, Obsidian. I'm really excited. Not Halcyon, technically, but I mean Obsidian. So it's a little bit of both. Alright, I'm hyper excited. I'm thinking about this shit all day. It's going to be exciting. Tonight, I am going to be enjoying The Quiet Man. This is a eight-year-old single malt Irish whiskey, oak bourbon cast matured, uh, bottled in Derry, North Ireland. We cast and finished in first filled bourbon barrels from the state of Irish. I got it the other day, and I'm very excited to try it. So I'm going to be imbibing. Stein of water and some sparkly stuff. It's gonna be great. So, let me make sure that I'm live in here and I'm in the chat room of my channel. So, you know, guys, jump in. I can see your comments. Okay, so, um, we just ready to roll this item. So, we're gonna continue. Hey, two followers. What's up, you guys? Let's see, yeet, we're going to join into our thing, there we go, I'm excited to play, okay, not going to lie, the little like moon characters, like that dude, um, I just, I just love so much, and I'm so excited to meet them, I hope they're good people, because otherwise it's going to be, I'm going to be so disappointed, but um, I'm one of those guys, one of those people that is, like, easily, uh, intrigued by something, like, <laughs> graphic design. Like, I, you can't take me to stores because I get, like, <gasps> this is amazing, and I have to buy this. Oh, hot damn, that's delicious. Ooh, hot damn, that is delicious. I've got a big, one of those big, uh, like, ice cube makers. So it's like a giant block of ice in it. Uh, and this is, surprisingly, oftentimes they say, you, don't, you know, you don't want to drink scotch cold, right? Scotch on the rocks is kind of a thing. You should drink it um, room temperature, and you should put just, like, a dab of spring letter in it to open up the flavonoid so that you can taste it. But this is really good cold. It is crisp and sharp. Um, yeah, it has all the familiar oaky, nutty flavors, that kind of thing, but it's got that caramel deliciousness, uh, deliciousness of bourbon, and it's very evident that, like, oh yeah, this was completely finished in bourbon casts and hot damn. So, ooh, I can't wait to try that. All right. I got my shotgun loaded. I was stealing stuff. Yeah, I'm real excited to take a look. Uh, Edgewater Cemetery. Can I get... I wish I could zoom past that. There we go. There we go. It'll just show it if I come close to it. Okay. I guess I could walk around before I go into town. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to go into town? Uh, you know what? I think we're going to... We're going to go ahead and go into Edgewater. I like taking photos. And I forgot to get a hole in the ship. Emerald Vale. Man, I'm so excited to delve into this. I like the next thousand hours. It's going to be great. Mm. There's a little bit of that peat campfire burn, but there's some definite notes of like elderberry in there. Oh yeah, that's way good. Okay, so I love I love RPG games and stuff like that, and sometimes the loading really like woof gets to me. Dude, look at that. That's so cool. 
Oh, I love shit like that. Yes, go down the dark alley, SG. Let's just do it. I know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I love walking around like, okay, we will. Let's do things. <gasps> oh, a spaceship. Oh, and you can even hear it fly overhead? Fuck, that was cool. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Um, hopefully you're not going to get too bored because I love not going and doing the thing directly. I love exploring around and looking at random shit before I ever get anywhere. You're not a thing I can open? That's a bummer. You look like a booby trap, though. You're just going to be... Okay, good. General store discovered? Now where did I go? Cannery. Okay, there we go. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got work. <laughs> Hello, resident. Okay, Spacer's Choice. <laughs> look at him, look at how cute he is. Look at him. Aww. George Melier, that's his name. And that's what I brought up with Hugo. And uh, Trip to the Moon, I think, was what it was. Spacer's... Oh, so there's the General Store, JK, and this is the Cantina. I'm getting XP for just exploring things, objects. I'll see. Uh, okay, where do we want to go first? Um, ooh, and Saltuna? Alright, actually, let's take a look at what the map looks like. Okay, that's kind of cool that it like shows you uh, a little bit outside of it. That's cool. Yeah, local region. Okay, let's work with that. I always like to go exploring before I go in anywhere, and then we're just going to kind of like, again, take... Nightingale Step, Armor Mod. Take Mag 2 Zap, Ranged Weapon Mod. Change the weapon's damage type to Shock. Ooh, and another Sentry Saber. That's fucking cool. Alright, I'm already liking the fact that I can get, like, be a jumping puzzle. <laughs> yes, I'm already liking that. Oh, damn it. I can't nail shit. Um, that exploring, like, has already netted me stuff. Is that a thing? Let me get out of... No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that shit. <laughs> okay. Funky mushrooms. Those are big boys. In my con, it's from D and D. I'm playing Shroom Boys. All right. I think I can go in here without triggering anything. Resident. Some kind of cathedral. That's pretty wicked cool. Where are you? Oh, no, that's the thirty-five. Okay, just walking around, looking around. Pick up an OSI vial? Operation uh, uh Office of Secret Intelligence. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Well, I'm not Mary, but oh, okay. I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't big enough to serve. Are certain you? are you? Oh no. There's the vicar. Let's just walk behind. Nothing? Can I steal anything off your desk? Alright. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. Kind of looking around. <laughs> Seriously, can you hear that? It's amazing. Creeper. <laughs> See? Pays to look around. Alright, that's the whatever, like east egg entrance exit. Entrance. I can't get past your can oh wait. <laughs> yes. Not like that was much of a puzzle. Pretty necklace if you're into that sort of thing. Heavy ammo. 
Adreno Spacer's Choice. Or are you? Look like BB-8 for a second. Alright, and... <laughs> yes! One of those things. There we go. Like, weirdly blocked by the wall, but alright. Yeah, that was that corner. Okay, that's not much to really look at. Saltuna. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out. Ooh, I don't know where you are. Bypass shunt. Need to jump over you. Where am I? Is it in my backyard to this thing? Buy ammo and get the ammo. Okay, alright. where I just was. Two entrances to that guy. Just keep walking around. Is that a pigeon? Corporate guards everywhere. Nothing over here. Is there a person? No. No spaceship. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Maintenance division. Second story to that thing. Oh, here's one of those guys. Spacer's Choice. Trouble Ticket. Curse Injured Toes. I have to enter a minimum of eight steps. Damn mechanicals. Look northwise. I said look northwise. Blasted use of translator and use. <laughs> See it? It's right. It's great. This is funny. I love how goofy these things are. Alright. Bunch of nanners. Go in somebody's home. Let's just loot around. I love game. I feel like Link. I'm always like, I'm gonna just come in and ah, break your pots. Sure, why not? Oh. Good to know that I'm picking this dude's lock. What was that? Something blaster. Dude, I love the old west vibes that this has given me. You know, they're blue, so it's not like I'm stealing, stealing.
Nuka Cola. Just kidding. Welcome to maintenance personnel. Enter keyword for record search. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. Actually, born July 7th. Make her special spiel. Make her, make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. What the what? Sat up last night reading through the Young Spacious Guide. Almost started reading out loud from habit. It's been 10 years, but I still have parts of it memorized. I want to read the whole thing again. Interesting. And with Jane. There we end with Jane. Oh, I just go for the stuff and I don't even look if anybody's in the room. I'm like, nope, mine now. <laughs> right, let's check this door first. Oh, the washroom. Can't steal the soap. That is a weird looking toilet. Though it still is like an overhead thing. It just makes me laugh. What a shower. All right. Looking good. Ooh, fun. And the balcony. Corporate something or other. Toss ball blocker. Yo, we're going to place. Pistol. And a toss ball blocker. One-handed melee, 47 damage, 13 DP, 113 DPS. It can stagger. Dang, that's cool. All right, and then 16 armor and four armor. Oh yeah, we're wearing a cool hat now. Three armor, and then there we go. Now it'll look so much like a a brosif. Spacer's Brew Algae Lager <laughs> That's funny Speed Grip Weapon Attack Speed Nightingale Step Decreases the Noid Made While Moving That looks cool Mag 2 Zap Armor Parts Weapon parts, mag pick, bypass shunt, captain's identification. I don't want to say. Sprat hide, necklace. I think of those are just sale, yeah. I wonder if this is just, yeah, junk to sell. Okay, good to know. lost a finger in the cannery today all right let's do we'll go here because i think the constable is oh no we're not stealing from the police right there spacers corona bounty records Wanted, Gil, Doc, Birdie, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can get those bounties, that'd be awesome. 
<laughs> Just go to the cells. Don't stop me, lady. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier I Justice. Get some bounties. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Hey, I can work with that. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. What? <laughs> what are acceptable? Okay. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Do I? Um, let's see, just why I'm asking. You are correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. Good to know. Uh, okay. So, I don't want to Something to report? Way. There we go. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Let's get some Know how more. to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna get some fingers. Be needing nothing but salt tuna for a year. Want a Doc Mayville Burgess. I love it. I know how you feel. I get to go to a barber shop. Okay, so those are closed. Those are closed. We're gonna go to the Emerald Vale barber shop first. Look at that. That's hilarious. What a barber pole. Oh, you're here. Bummer. I can't steal. Wish there would be like a. Uh oh. <laughs> Destruction of space uses property. This is going to ruin us. Uh oh. Phyllis is taking his teeth. <laughs> That's funny. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop. Wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Oh, see? Please don't touch anything. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. <laughs> I, I knew I shouldn't be wearing the Marauder's outfit. <laughs> so everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Uh, there we go. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Uh, no. Let's see what it says. You mean you're broke, huh? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. What can I do? Uh... I have to be, if only to prepare myself for my inevitable You're dressing to down nice. at the hands of corporate. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven <laughs> worthy of treatment. <laughs> Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. 
Okay, all right, I guess. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Uh... <laughs> there we go. You know about Eugene? How? I found a note from Phyllis. Ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, <laughs> and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. That's what they... He took them to his grave. Symbolized? Awesome. I'm sure you won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contain their property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Maybe I can do it. I guess you're gonna have to. Yes, yeah. I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Awesome. I really wish you would get out of here so I can get some stuff. Let's, let's dress like I'm not a <laughs> homeless dude. Alright. So we went there first. Let's go here. Take a look inside. Keep your distance, friend. This house is no place for a traveler. Sick days come out of my pay. Come out of the spittoon. Ooh. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. Well, that's so sad. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. <clears throat> people are going to talk. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I wonder if I'll get it. Um... Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. All right. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. This was a little too. This is a little too dystopian. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. <laughs> this maybe is late stage capitalism all over. This is literally coronavirus right now. That's fantastic. Uh... I'm glad you see things my way, and not for nothing. But I appreciate you giving me the time of day. <laughs> I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. All right, I guess. I wonder if I could have gotten something. Wait, wait, can I? We are gonna kill this nasty infestation. <laughs> It's like messing with the space and time around it. Hey. Hey.
guess I just lifted those off a of resident, but... Oh my god, Rick Grimes is dead! Cigarettes... Okay, let's go to the uh, cantina. Let's talk around the folks. Steer up a steel note. Can you read the latest report? I don't know you. La. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. To know. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Good to know, I guess. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand. But you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <sighs> Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Them deserters, oh no, that's so sad. What's this about deserters? <sighs> Traitors, the lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. <laughs> Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Okay, good to know. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see what else we can get. I don't see how that's any of your business. <laughs> She's very helpful. Persuade, too. And there's no need for you to pry, either. All right. So mm, I trade? Coming right up. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Uh, off. Zero G spacers brew. Oh, spacers brew <laughs> increases my personality attributes by one. Drops my dexterity by one and perception by one and charm by one. No, we're fine. Watcher. <laughs> Let's have a look around. We're gonna steal this stuff now. We're gonna steal this stuff now. We're gonna steal this stuff now. Cause no one can see stupid shit. I mean, healthier. Spacer's chaw. Can't steal the soap. That's a bummer. <laughs> that open 
comes up out here. Yeah, of course it does. And It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. <laughs> I, just, I just love the... <laughs> it's not the best, it's us. It's it's like, they, they acknowledge that they're like garbage. It's just great. A little more whiskey. Let's see, fix the ship. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. Of course. He's up in his tower above the cannery. All right. Go right ahead. What do you got? What do you got? What can you offer me? Plague. I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Okay, let's be in denial. That's... You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. All right. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness. But the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Good to, good to know. Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature. <laughs> it's company policy. <laughs> oh, Medical man. treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Woof. Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch, and you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's a thing. <laughs> Let me see what Music you're selling. Music to my ears. What do we got? Impact hammer. Woof. Three hundred ninety-eight. Hey, what if I sell some junk? We got fourteen. Let's sell. Let's just say we have a couple. Keep ammo. Let's sell one pistol, I think, because we've got two, don't we? Oh, I've only got the one, but I will sell my f like two of these things. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Music to my ears. All right, let's sell. Yeah. Uh, we'll sell you two. I don't care that much. And we can sell that one. Stuff. Spacer's Chaw. <laughs> Minus 15%, spread 15%, range weapons way. Speed grips. Got 193 bits. What can we buy? One impact hammer, light assault rifle, light machine gun, revolver, pistol, sawed off shotgun, trip blade. Three thousand nine eighty. Woof. Can't purchase Mr. Acid. I feel like I should purchase armor. Two ninety nine. 
think I have enough shit to sell. Yeah, I'd be selling everything I got. <laughs> Just steal his stuff right in front of him. <laughs> uh, that's great. And Tina, okay, let's go take a look in. Another day at the cannery. Yeah, right here. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been. Home. Whoa, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Uh oh. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Oh, no. Sorry, Martin. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here is my dog. I knew I should have gone with the perception. And there's the door. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Uh, let's go with the light. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. Not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. <laughs> and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the sky. The great cannery? That's it's what we're going to... That's what you want to get? Silas knows. He oh, knows no. I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Oh my god. I'm sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, Wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Freelancing? What you mean? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I can do that. Chaotic good to the rescue! Not so fast, you got some questions. I'll do what I can. You will not find any guards within sight. Oh, yes, place. just marauders? I marauders. can kill some marauders. Oh, I can kill marauders. <laughs> I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. <laughs> so you'll do it then? You bet. I'm going to take it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. <laughs> awesome. Woof. I really want to take a bunch of shit, but stupid jag weed. Mm. 
Not enough stuff. Should knock him the hell out. But screw it. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, <laughs> Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Why is that? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Mm. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Oh no, Esther, let me see. Let me worry about that. All right. Yes! Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Was Abernathy paying me? He's not paying me, is he? No, he's not paying me. I get it. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of law-breaking, but sometimes <laughs> you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. The right reasons. That's all I can ask of you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, and then I gotta go to the cannery, right? I love it that I've already got, like, intrigue and plot. Who will get the medicine? Hypochondriac? Stage model system can have visually tricky as basic health. Schedule your sick leave with the spacers. Two to four weeks to process and improve your scheduled sick leave. Oh my god. Allowed two to four weeks to process. <laughs> Paying for your sick leave. Wage deductions. Oh, the vicar has. Real fun. Whoa. Oh. So the jumping mechanics in this are not exactly the best. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody in here. Kick me <laughs> Yes, please. Yeah, we are absolutely just taking shit because nobody's paying attention. Ooh, a vendor, huh? Vending machines. A hack skill of twenty or higher allows you to sell the items. Allows you to sell items to the. Funny. Uh, I didn't even buy weapons. That's cool. Buy a revolver. I got two oh six. Elite tumor. Aramid ballistics. Yeah, I definitely would like some new armor, but... This is Dude, this is so... Bioshock. It, it's, it's just badass. Alright, let's come up this ladder really fast. Guide to mechanical engineering volume two. What was that? Grenade? <laughs> ah! 
Okay, light assault rifle. Sawed off shotgun. Dude, grenade launcher? Amazing. Thank you. Yes. Steal, steal some zero G brew too. In the office of Reed Thompson, Outpost Administration, symptoms of infection now reached quick mass. The omen oh dumb cell. Don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirits. Y'all are crazy with how much work informs your like literal culture. It's crazy town. steal much else so we're gonna talk to uh phyllis granger hi phyllis you the new worker whatever make it quick tenderfoot i'm busy okay well phyllis will make it real quick gravesite fees shit silas still on about that here take the fees i'd appreciate it if you didn't tell reed i was late on my payment because they're not my fees and not my gravesite guy i worked with shot himself i paid the bill I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Oh, no. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. <laughs> no. Just between the two of us. I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Oh, talking about the... Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who found him, you see, relative so I pay the fines. Oh, that's Suicide's funny. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Really? That's terrible. Uh, what are they going to do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for That's it. That's terrible. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Jeez. Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. Hmm. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. <laughs> Eugene can rest his bones Oops. in peace, and the rest of us <laughs> Everybody's can Everybody's just with forging lives. paperwork left and right, huh? What's on your mind? Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Let's talk about I you, paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Yeah, let's just keep talking. Right didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? <laughs> Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. <laughs> Somebody got real upset. Shut that door. And what else can I steal? You too. Messages. Welcome, Phyllis Granger. Sanction your access to medical treatment in the event of a contagion. Merit base. I wish I had that. That would be nice to hack. Oof, 
nasty. Y'all nasty. What's in here? monkey are seems we've got a guest really now Parvati I do wish you'd spoken up I do apologize I was given no forewarning of your arrival or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself I'm Reed Thompson outpost administrator I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. <laughs> Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. <laughs> I can't let you have our power regulator. But... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Ooh, good to know. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. <laughs> this dialogue is too good. Botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your botanical way. Botanical district, huh? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Like who? No. I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. Will I though? The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I oh. need them back at their mm. posts. I need rough. them to come home. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. So, kicking them out My of the thing? My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Okay. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Mm. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. Kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. All right. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. And if they do We don't... belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right. I'll see what I can do to help. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I'm okay. Am I going to get my first follower? I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to me. <laughs> oh, yes. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Well, I'm okay with that. Sure, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so 
I'm all set. Dude, okay. Well, I'm Seriously. glad to hear that. I'm having so much Best fun with of luck this game. to you. This and thank fun. you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. <gasps> CNP New Manager Seminar Companions. You begin a new companion. There are characters that join you in your adventures and help you in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. This skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companions' combat abilities with the ins inspiration skill. And the companion ledger. All right. I can work with that. And I kind of think... Ooh. Where's Reed's key to unlock? What if I just murder him right now? I mean, I guess I could. Let's not do that, though. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. All right. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. No. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Oh? He ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. Of course he does. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. Mm -hmm. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Deep. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Ah. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I know. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. Them's oh, key can think of something else to try. <laughs> something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. Hmm. It's just an idea. That's all. Alright, I can work with that. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody... It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. All right. I can work with that. Dee, 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 dee. Where is the vicar is the question. Ah, uh, here he is at the... I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Mm. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your Maximilian. service. Maximilian? I never Poor trusted Vicar him. Vicar Maximilian, if you're the sorry. Sort of no. Brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Like talking to her. That's kind of cool. That's new for like a game. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. <laughs> NPCs chatting. I so this is me playing D&D, except to. I'm all the characters. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. But what? I thought you would talk to him. <laughs> you wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single <laughs> words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Dee, dee, dee. Mm. 
depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Mm -hmm. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters mm. to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Yeah, 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 I bet. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum And for the another book. quest. Yes, please. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. He's like... Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. All right. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. <gasps> Level three, cut skill points. Yay! Ten points available. I love how awesome this shit is. Uh, the one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, actually, eight, nine. Ten? No. There we go. Apply, accept. You've unlocked a combat dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Cool. All right. Skills. Nope. No perks. Oh yeah, every other level. Deep. Dee 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 dee. Journal. Main quest. Did the optional part, which is great. Got a deliveries message. Divert power from the geo thermal plant. Receive the cache of medicine. Collect Maybell's fee. <laughs> Those are great. All right, so we're going to do Ludwig's gravesite fees, and then we'll do the collector's domicile. And then we'll collect those fingers and the cash. I can work with that. Yeah, let's go back there. So small grave matter first. Dee, 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 dee. Pretty sure I'm I've been everywhere. Yeah. Here we go. Saltuna Cannery. Um, next time I'm going to move my little, like, 
dude in the corner, I'm gonna move my over. I think I'm gonna move myself over to the other side, the bottom right, because that way I can see. My, like I don't think there's anything over there. I've got the little thing in the left hand corner. I feel like I'm missing with the up and down, the left and right, and then I've got my, you know, HUD in the upper left and shit like that. It'll be good. The only source of protein a busy worker needs because the things are great. Emerald Vale region. Where are we? Oh! I'm on the other side. Like, am I looking at mountains or am I looking at the ocean or what am I looking at here? What am I looking at here, folks? There's a lot of stuff right here. Ludwig, Ludwig Miller is only 36 meters away. <laughs> when I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Thank the Oh, Lord. Edward James almost. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. I mean, that's not what I'm a truncheon. Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. <laughs> Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man <laughs> versus machine. Okay, you're a little... I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I uh, don't know what you're talking Just about. my luck. I ask for backup, and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Gotcha, Ludwig. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the Am birds. I going to get another quest by the power plant? I can, work with the, I can work with this. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing? Shoulder if you're coming shoulder in like with one area, wouldn't you want to like go after that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Do it, son. Do it. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Yes. What do you need they done? They have sent a scout. Prowling around the <laughs> junkyard just behind our beloved town. <laughs> I love all the random fucking to quests. Return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. This is going to be great. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um, the blue glowy square thing. Ah, blue glowy square thing, indeed. I have heard that before. Go on. I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Mm hmm. Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. <laughs> I am the only thing <laughs> standing crazy between down the sky and is. total annihilation. This is what happens if he's living completely on his own. Good to know. Oh, yes. Thank you for leaving. Now I can steal Spacer's Corona because you're gone. I'm going to steal your shit. You're fast. <laughs> Ooh, and a toss ball stick. 
<laughs> Thanks, buddy, for all your shit. All right. Let us modify. To install your mod, first select the item you wish to upgrade, then choose what type of mod you wish to install. Scope, armor, plating, etc. Finally, pick the mod to install, and boom! You upgrade your item. Both weapons and armor can be modified. Mods can't be removed once you do so. Put them to your favorite gear. Joke, Josh, weapons, Josh. Joke weapons are both for discerning where everyone's at? Whatever. Okay. Oh, I have one. Do I have one? No, I don't have one. 93 DPS, 113 DPS, 141. I like want to use the mods, but I don't know. I'm so bad. Modify, Tinka, repair. Extendo site. Yeah, let's do that. Damage type shop. New magazine mod. Magazine size. Let's do this mag to zap. Okay. Ooh, cool. Sights and magazines? Alright, let's do the sawed-off shotgun. And then we're gonna add the... There you go. Up the magazine by four. I can work with that. Okay. Will you get out of my way? I mean, he's gonna be mad that I stole all this shit. Oh my god. I can't, thank you. Lord. I have one. Damn it. Oh, you know what? What if I buy him? I wonder if I can buy him. Board approved Halcyon? What are you guys? Thug kit, plasma cutter, wowzers, wow, tremor cleaver, Mr. N, mod, why can't I pick them, why can't I buy, I wish to buy. A5 is a class C felony. You can now travel to Edgewater landing pad from your ship. Okay, cool. Hey, Miss Marbati. Come for a visit? Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? 
Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My Aww. dad's buried here. That's so Silas sweet. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Hey, about those fees you want. Run into any trouble? I'm all done. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, no. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Mm. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Yeah? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again? Never to be found again. Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? I'm one of them. Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. <laughs> Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. There's gonna be trouble. Troubles in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. <laughs> All right, all right. Something I can do for you? And I think that's it. No. Yeah? What about him? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The uh -oh. nightmare was supposed to commend his body to the earth. I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone, spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. <laughs> Let me know if you find anything. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So Eugene is still alive. Fast travel landing site. Edgewater Cemetery, fast travel landings, landing site, Edgewater. All right, journal. We're gonna go to Illustrated Manual. So then let's go to the map. There we go. Okay. I used to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terror filming. I think she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks her own self. Heading back. Goodbye. that open? Easy. Plasma rifle? Hmm. 
I love finding shit. There's jaw ass. Vending machine discovered. Good to know. Two hour energy drink. Dude, why can I not buy the mad pick? That's so bummer. soft piano music dude this soundtrack is so awesome i never really liked video game soundtracks per se i mean I, I guess i never noticed them um you know i mean unless it's like heavily dependent on music like legend of zelda games or something like that hacking skill too low bummer but like a, a blasphemous on ps4 is so awesome to the soundtrack, the old world Spanish flamenco, is amazing. It's one of the mo it's one of my like favorite soundtracks of all time. Having like played it through, it's so good. If you guys have not played Blasphemous, I cannot recommend it enough. It is amazing. All right. I like how weird this little like town is. Collector's domicile. There's stuff? Let's see, I was hearing something. Okay, there's no guy in the evictor or evicted. <laughs> and put your head down. <laughs> you dead son, you dead. Is that lava? Crazy. something. Where do I keep hearing something? Leaves. I don't see any creature looking thing. I'm ready for this. Okay, we got a lot of boys. And... If I could hit them, that would be great. Keeping your company guaranteed after it was expected. 
Players with engineering skill can repair their gear without need of a workbench. Awesome. Six. Ooh, sixty-five. Yeah, go for it. Two weapons degrade so fast. Fippy. Pew! Should shoot it down. What do we got? Nine? Another hunting rifle. That did okay. Trip blade, good thing I didn't buy one. Abandoned outpost discovered. There's mushrooms. That's totally lava just coming out of the ground. Okay, wicked pissa, I love it. Ooh, why is there like a step up there? I love that there's weird platforming elements to this game. Look, here, 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 and then over, and then up. Is there folks over there? I must disagree with your theories about the Earth's directorate's place in the colonial systems. How this much I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened at first. I believe Halcyon and all the other colonies in the room of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war if the Earth's directorate wasn't around to regulate and trade and settle disputes. Do you think corporations? I think you're wrong about the history, though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them in a weakened state. Interesting. You guys. Saltuna. Two over one thirteen. Oh, it's a two handed, right? No, one handed melee. Why didn't I? Wicked. Collector's letter. I got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery. Effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own grift gift shop at the community center. Something where the scripture tells us that all things have a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. It's my book collection. Can't bear apart with it. Don't want those books smoldering in some kind of red locker. So I stashed them all the way in a cave over by the river. Okay. Cave. Oh my god, they're in a cave down by the river. Oops. 
I live in a van down by the river. Alright. Cave entrance. Okie dokie. A ring. Le toilette. It's a terrible place to sleep. Two hour energy brew. Bit cartridges. Spacers Corona. Okay, there we go. I live in a van down by the river. Right? Okay. there later. I think we're going to go over here. Dude, I really, seriously, I'm enjoying so much of how colorful and bright this game is. And then just how engaging it is. Transport wreckage, huh? Primal brain. Okay, that was intense. I nearly died. Uh, oh, hell, I forgot. I completely forgot what my. Fucking game over? What? Holy shit. It's not Borderlands. You don't just reset. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Let's hope I fucking let's let's see where we let's see what happens. 
Oh man, I got my ass handed to me. Alright, well, let's do a better thing. Hold on. Character, inventory, oh, Pavarti. Light pistol? Oh, you need way more than that. There you go, and then... So, why does this not... Can't I just... This is weird. I don't know how to, like, unequip it. Can't I just de-equip it? Whatever. There we go. Grenade launcher. It's fine. And then... Seven. We'll give you a helmet, too. No available perks. Oh, you can make her aggressive or not aggressive? Good to know. I'm staying in the mouth of the cave. That did better. Oof, already got her butt kicked. She didn't die though. You've taken N-ray damage. This damage bypasses armor and does damage over time. Awesome. Skill and perk points available. Awesome. Ten points.
10. Apply melee power attacks by holding the attack button. You charge up an overhead power attack and inflicts significant extra damage. Doing this charge up during a standard attack will prepare a strong sweep attack that can hit multiple and support you. Company power. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so I purchased toughness. XP from companion kills. Time dilation is pretty cool. I'm not using time dilation that much. Uh, I'm definitely not going to do the one thing alone. I don't really give a shit about walk speed. Carrying capacity is going to be important really soon. Um, armor rating would be great, but it's definitely going to be high maintenance. Yeah, we're definitely going to focus on that. Apply. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, great. And then we should return to the vicar. Yeah, we should. I think I'm going to return to the vicar, and then we're going to call... We're gonna call it with this one. We'll play some more missions tomorrow night. It's gonna be great. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Let me check the barber shop and maybe see what's his face. I'm not sure what this is, but this is hilarious. Twelve amazing episodes. Chair run mark with Ruth Bellamy and Halcyon as Halcyon Helen. Spencer Woolrich as Chief of the Savages, featuring real monsters from the doomed world. <laughs> Dude, this game is just glorious. I cannot get over how awesome this is. Give them stronger weapons and armor and watch them shine. I definitely need to do that for sure. Oh, this scotch has been delicious. So we're going to finish it over the next couple of uh, streams. It's going to be exciting. All right, where's the barber? There he is, right? Just tell me you left. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. <laughs> All right. And we gotta go. There we go. Had your rations yet? Vika mix. Hi, Buckaroo. Any progress on that matter we discussed? I got it for you. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I. Well, you Wait. didn't. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. All right, Vicar. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. This guy's a nut job. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. Sure, Vicar. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those I answers. I mean, it does. You just can't I read French. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Mm. What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. Interesting. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Mm -hmm. 
the story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, uh -oh. long time. Uh oh. <laughs> I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no All's matter where we found it. Front, I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. Oof. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. I mean... You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Yeah, why not? Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, <laughs> and I'd be and happy to watch a second to watch partner, two in one day. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers <laughs> what a, as well. What a great vicar! Yes, sounds good. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Yeah, right. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Yeet! I'll meet you on the ship when you're... All right. Good to know. <laughs> she looks like a crazy cyborg. Okay, so we got the vicar. Let's take a look at... Fistful of digits. Receive the cash of med medicine. Deal with the mechanical scout. Let's do the mechanical scout really fast. I'm still actually having a lot of fun. And region. So. The chairman and Minister Clark. Oh, I love these propaganda posters. <laughs> Dialogue, skill, combat, abilities trigger automatically in combat, distracting your enemies. For bonus damage and the ability to hack vending machines. I love that the vicar has hacking skills. Who the fu? What kind of priest? <laughs> what kind of man of God is like, oh yeah, I'll talk my way out of a conflict. And I'm also good at hacking boys. 102 meters around the side, right? What are you? I picked up some tartar sauce. That's just great. Where's that one open door? Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation Aww. systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Yeah, sure. Do it, Perverti. Go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, I mean, by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Aw, he's so cute. On account of I fixed him. And he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's like Jeremy, 
the officer in True Romantic Tales of the Space Guard? <laughs> what? Is that an ethics? What? Hebsa Shirley. I make a point to watch every Tuesday night. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Self-diagnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. Hilarious. Ludwig? What the hell is Ludwig? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, he was over here. Yeah. What's his face? is not going to like that. Yeah, this idiot is a little too fucking robot crazy to be like... Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Good to know. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. Fine what you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical heart. I love that his ear is see-through. It's weird. lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I oh kept it Oh my god, am I gonna go years. get a super weapon? I'm gonna go get a super Sharp, weapon. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Gross. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Awesome. Okay, can I get in here? I think I can. Done. Hell yeah. And we're gonna close because I want to steal a way to get in. I want to steal shit. I really don't want to. Six hundred and eighty way. You're lucky I've already filled my <laughs> Just taking all the things. All right. Just got to get whatever that is in a second, and we're going to go through there. <laughs> Move it, corporate technician, before I fucking shoot you down. Thank you. Great work. Well, that was that was a, oh, that was dumb. It was a total waste of those guys. Damn it. Right. Revolver. Oh, 
no inventory weapons there we go Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to go inside and go get a kick-ass weapon, apparently. Let's see how uh, kick-ass it actually is. 28th Annual Toss Ball Series. I like that Toss Ball is just a fancy lacrosse. <laughs> Rizzo's Rangers versus Spacers Joe. You just take extra damage from plasma attacks. Auto mechanicals take the extra damage from shock weapons. It'll be good to get shock weapons and plasma weapons later on for sure. Oh. Dude, I have no idea what time it is. Uh, oh, 2.29. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. I don't know if any of you guys are watching, but hey, I'm having fun. Uh, there we go, right? Inside the cantina. Spacer's choice. What if you just went on like a frickin' murder spree? You're not a big drinker, are you? You're kidding me, right? I missed this place. Oh, I've got a bunch of. Here we go. Number four. Oh yeah, armor sixteen is super good. Ooh, -hoo, there we go. Oh yeah, armor nine, level two, tech skills plus five. Nope. Armor thirteen, dodge plus seven. Awesome. Wicked cool. So what can I give to you, Pavardi? Can I give you better stuff? You got seven? Yeah, let's give you that. Nine. And four and nine. Yeah, you're looking pretty good. Okay. So then let's get back out. Woof! With that bastard latching onto my face. Eggs, bugs, that thing, and then cocoon, and then giant dude. Ugh. Gee. That looks nasty. Nasty AF, son. You can transfer items into containers that are on your ship. Yeah. up here just stealing away the ammo this Sunday Saturday Sunday 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 Rizzo Strangers versus Cleo's Darlings. This is great. That was quick. Hot pick used. Steel bread noodles. Light ammo. Nothing in that fridge. An Adreno there. And we'll steal trip teas and another gourmet salted tuna and a two hour energy brew this is just great ah, ah. <laughs> break my legs why don't I Peace. 
feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand, Hand of, of the, the law. law. Interesting. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick Two a couple zaps. thousand volts in its mag guts. Zap. With compliments from old Ludwig. Nice, nice. So what's next? Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal yeah, we'll plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I got a passcode already, which is good. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my <laughs> gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I mean, it's not that you're not incompetent, but... I need but... you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. All right. There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Interesting. I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. Mm, okay. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. <laughs> Could be a sympathizer. Oh, I got her there, Ludwig. Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. And do what with them, buddy? Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. <laughs> Didn't know I had to be all prissy about <laughs> oh, my grammar right. around you. You dummy boy. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. All right, buckaroo. Goodness gracious. Okay, journal. Die, robot die. So retrieve the logic module. So we'll go to the geothermal plant in a minute. All right, we would need to do the cache of medicine and fingers. All right. I think we're going to do the... Transport wreckage, river hideout, Edgewater Cemetery. Yeah, I think we're going to do our Fistful of Digits and Long Robot tomorrow and then start on some main quests and then finish these guys all together. All right? It has been awesome hanging out and playing with you guys tonight. If you uh, liked, oh, I don't know, watching and playing and stuff like that and hanging out with me, uh, consider subscribing. You can follow me on Facebook, too. I always post uh, videos there. I've got my YouTube channel and everything. They're all uh, Salty Gentleman Scotch and Gaming, or just at Salty Gentleman is the easiest way to find me. Anyway, uh, hell yeah, this has been really fun. I'm excited to drink more of this. Woo! It's going to be great. Okay, friends. I had a great time. I hope you get some sleep, rest, wherever you, wherever you're at, or have a kick-ass day. And I will see you on the next stream. Okay, peace out.